Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So today what I want to do is talk a little bit about printers. You actually find them a lot on garbage day. This one was given to me by a co-worker. Shout out to Joan Platt, a great person and an excellent French teacher. So thank you very much for this. And the interesting thing about printers is a lot of scrappers actually drive right by. They may take the power cord, but they leave the rest. And although there is a lot of plastic on these, they are actually 100% scrappable. I could bring this in as is to the scrapyard and get electronic weight price. And this printer is huge. It's very heavy. This actually, I just weighed it, weighs 50 pounds. So I'm going to get about five to seven cents a pound for this, which is better than nothing and is definitely better than going to the landfill. However, there are a few things that I do want to take off of here before I bring it into the scrapyard. So what I want to do today is show you some of the goodies. Again, I'm not going to take all of this apart because there is a lot of plastic. And in my opinion, they are not worth taking everything out. Some people will grab the uh, tin, which is worth 10 cents a pound. There is a little stainless steel bar in there. But if you start taking it apart, you also lose a lot of the weight from the plastic. So for five cents less, I would rather leave it as is and bring it in whole. So first thing I do want to talk about again is the power cord. A lot of people will take these um, and leave the rest. These in Canada right now in London, Ontario, these are going for what you call 60% appliance wire. And there are two different categories at a scrapyard for appliance cords. You have 40% copper recovery and 60%. This one, as you can see, this has two wires inside of here that are coated only once by copper. And what scrapyards look at is plastic to copper ratio and copper recovery. Since there is only one outer coating on these two copper wires, there is more copper, less plastic. And currently right now, 60% appliance wire is going for $2.68 a pound, which is an excellent price. Your 40% copper recovery, a good example would be things like microwaves, uh, dehumidifiers, um, anything that has your thick outer coating. And once you cut it inside, there'll be three individual strands or two, depending, that are additionally coated as well. So you do want to make sure you separate them. 40% copper recovery appliance wire is going right now for $1.68 a pound. So uh, $1. eight more for this, which is great. As you can see, there are some uh, coated brass prongs on here. Some people leave these on for the weight. I do actually break these off and I have a nice bin of uh, just prongs. Uh, brass right now is going for about three fifty a pound. So in my opinion, it's worth separating it, building up my bulk of brass and bringing that in separately. But again, it's entirely up to you. Depends on how many wires you have, but a nice appliance wire. As well, if I open this, you can see there is a lot of plastic. Just going to quickly show, uh, this is actually too big to fit in the camera, but you do see the magnet does stick. So there is tin in here um, that is in there. So I'm not even going to take this off. Like I said, uh, in order to get it out, I would have to break this plastic and I do not want to do that. Uh, going to actually look at the panel box here on the side. Just going to turn it. Actually, this is the side. There's two panels. I've already removed the screws on this one. Where is it? There it is. As you can see, there is a little bit of plastic and I will put this back on here. But what I want to focus on is this side panel. There is right here, if I turn it, there is, you can see some um, USB ports. There is like a phone jack port as well. Here there is another one. And these actually have gold inside of them. I have one for this video, the sake of this video. As you can see, I will collect these gold pins. And for the sake of this video, again, all it is is a couple screws that I need to take off. Very simple. Just gonna open that. My screws, I always have a magnet on standby. I'm just going to uh, put these screws, make sure I have them in a bin. After I'm done with them, I will uh, 
collect them, and I will put those into my steel. Uh, the nice thing about when you're scrapping and you have screws, you do get a lot of them, and you definitely want to make sure that they are not falling all over the place, especially when you go to a scrap yard. I also have right here, you can see some wire. I'm just going to cut this wire. This too is going to be my 60% um, wire. Uh, as you can see, it all adds up. Uh, it's very light, but again, I throw it into a bag. But I just want to get to this. I'm going to put a pair of safety glasses on. I'm going to do a little breaking because I don't care about, you know, a little bit of plastic coming off here. And because I'm not reselling this, it doesn't matter me. So there is a nice little port. There is right there some tin. So there is my tins coming off. I've already unloosened the screw there. But the nice thing is all I'm going to do is just hit this with a hammer uh, and it will open up. Okay. And if I don't want to hit it with a hammer, I can also open a little bit more. But again, easy to do. Just making sure there's a the screw. Actually, it'd be a lot easier just taking that piece of tin off. Sometimes you can just weasel a screwdriver in there and that will also work. So there's my screws, there's my thing. I'm just gonna turn that over, I can feel it moving. So I need a flat head, just pry that under. There it is. Okay, you can see it. Just gonna lift this out. There is a little bit more tin. And there are two phone jacks here. I also have right there a crystal oscillator that has a little bit of silver in it. And this circuit board, I can either put it back in here or I can also just throw this into my e-waste. Uh, any types of uh, circuit boards is e-waste. Again, that's a good five to six pounds for this. Some places will look at uh, precious metals. And if there is gold like this, they might give you a higher value, high grade board but there is not a lot of gold on here. Uh, but again, I do extract the gold. And for the simple experiment or simple video, I'm just gonna show you very quickly how to do it, okay? As you can see, same thing. Turn it around, there is my gold. All I'm actually gonna do, watch this, take a pair of side cutters. I'm just gonna fold it and gonna cut that off. And what I will do is once I reach under this, oh, fumble. Too small for me to hold in front of the camera here so I'm just gonna put underneath that circuit board just gonna put a flat head just gonna lift it as you can see there take my side cutters and watch this just gonna pull them right out okay so slide them out there you go I don't want to lose any of my pins there's one or two still in there but as you can see there are my gold pins I have one in my hand here and all I'm gonna do, this whole thing is not gold. There is a little bit of brass here, but the gold plated prongs, I will cut as close to the gold. I'll put it into a little vial uh, and save that for uh, precious metal recovery. But you will have some I've seen that are gold plated all the way down the prong. So again, this, as I said, there is gold on there, you can see. And all of your USB phone jacks will have it. So as I said, there's two here. There is two here, which is great. And again, that is all I'm gonna take from this side. Last thing I wanna talk about very quickly is, if I, can, if I can locate it, the ink cartridges. Where is my ink cartridges? Where are you? Oh, here we go. There's so many different things on this. So, just gonna lift this up. Inside, again, there is a, an aerial view of that. There is some more steel. But here are my ink cartridges, right here on the side. And for these, you do want to make sure you have gloves. They can be messy, they can be spillage. But what's interesting about ink cartridges is, here is the black one. Again, I'm not touching any of that. But all of your ink cartridges also have a small bit of gold on that. So I will, before I bring these in and these I actually don't leave in here because they are messy. I will bring these actually back to Staples. Um, they can recycle the ink uh, cartridges properly or Walmart. Uh, you definitely want to check your area, but I will just remove with a flathead screwdriver or a knife, just pick that off. And again, as I said, there are some gold plated 
teeth there or a circuit board and I will keep that as well. And there is this one. There are three different colors. There's yellow. Here are pink and blue. So there again is some gold. And other than that, the rest of this machine, I am actually just gonna leave as is. And again, as I said, I'll probably get about $2.50 for this one given the weight uh, and the size of it. Uh, I also wanted to say, Joan, thanks for the free paper. Um, that's great, my kids will love this. Um, but uh, unfortunately, it did get wet from the uh, winter thaw. But uh, again, the rest of this I can leave as is. Printers, as I said, not a good idea to take them all apart because there is a lot of plastic in my opinion, but there are definitely goodies. I have some gold from the USB ports and phone jacks. I have some gold from the ink cartridges. I have a nice 60% copper appliance cord and some free paper. And again, the rest of this is e-waste. So next time you see this driving by, don't hesitate to pick it up. It's still worth scrap and it's definitely better than nothing and more importantly, better than going to the landfill. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again, Joan, for the printer here and helping me create this video. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.